What's poppin' YouTube? JD here, back with yet another video for you guys. We are doing something a little different today. I haven't done one of these videos before. We are talking about how to cop the off-white Jordan 4 sale. First of all, I wanted to say, what up fam? How you guys doing, man? Hope you guys enjoying the summer. I got my hat on today, cause you know what? Your boy needs a haircut, man. Also just wanted to say thank you so much for all the support on the channel, all the love on Instagram. You guys are really the best and you keep making me want to create more and more content for you guys. So this is really my first how to cop video. And the reason I actually decided to do this was because as you guys know, I've been saying for a while now, I really want these off-white Jordan 4s. This is a shoe that I just absolutely need in my personal collection. So I thought to myself, you know what? Let me go on YouTube. Let me search up how to cop off-white Jordan 4. Let's see what kind of information is out there. And I saw a bunch of videos that to be honest, weren't really that helpful for me for two reasons. First of all, because I live in the EU, a lot of these videos weren't really applicable to me. And second of all, most of these videos seem to say the exact same thing, which was to create a Nike sneakers account, create as many accounts on there, and just pray to God that you win. So I thought to myself, let me try to fill that void. Let me try to help out my European audience. So in this video, I'm gonna go through all of these stores that will be selling these sneakers here in Europe. I'll also be giving you some tips on how to enter these raffles to give you guys the best chance of copying. Of course, I will be leaving links to all of these raffles in the description, even the ones I forget to talk about in the video. So make sure you guys look for that. So enough waiting, let's get into it. Let's first talk about the shoes themselves, the off-white Jordan 4 sale. As we know, this sneaker will be releasing as a woman's sneaker. However, there will be sizes up to 16 and a half in women's, which translates to 15 in men's. We also know that there will be only about 25,000 pairs worldwide, which is an extremely, extremely limited amount. We're talking about a quarter of the amount of pairs as the Travis Scott ones, for example. And right now, resale prices are even more than 1500 euros in a lot of sizes. I'm expecting that after the sneaker comes out, the resale prices will settle in my opinion between 1000 to 1500 euros, which is an insane amount of money for a pair of sneakers and also it makes it one of the most profitable sneakers of the year. Of course, I don't care about any of that. I wouldn't even care if the resale price on this was 2000 euros because if I cop this in my size, and my size, by the way, is a size 11 men's, which is a 12 and a half in women's, just in case you guys wanna enter raffles for me. If I cop these in my size, they are going straight to feet. I'm gonna wear them on the first day that I cop them. All right, so let's go into the individual raffles, starting with Foot Patrol in the UK. I know I said this was an EU only video, but let's make an exception for my UK fam. So this particular raffle at Foot Patrol is gonna be an in-store raffle. So if you win, you actually have to pick up the pairs at the Foot Patrol London store, which is different than the previous Foot Patrol raffles. Pretty much every other Foot Patrol raffle this year has been online only in the UK, but this one is only pick up in store. Now for the UK raffles, I actually have a friend who lives in the UK, so I enter her in all of the raffles and she has won a few for me and then she'll ship the shoes over to me here in Germany. If you don't have anybody in the UK that could do that for you, well guys, you know what? I know I don't normally suggest this. This is, to a lot of people, this might be a crazy suggestion, but guys, we live in Europe and one of the best things about living in Europe is just how cheap it is to fly between countries. You could even take the train sometimes. If you live in Paris, for example, Paris to London is pretty fast by train. And because the resale price on this sneaker is so high, you might even want to consider whether it's worth it to maybe enter the in-store raffles in the UK. And if you win, you could even fly there, come back the same day. I know this might sound like a crazy suggestion, but guys, like, just do the math. It might actually be worth it considering how cheap flights are in Europe. But yeah, just something to consider if you don't plan on arriving in store, then unfortunately you won't be able to enter this raffle. Let's move on to Soulbox. So they have three in store raffles this time, one in the Berlin store, one in the Brussels store, as well as Vienna. And guys, if you didn't already know, your absolute best chance at winning hype sneakers is entering in-store raffles because these raffles have the fewest number of entries normally. So once again, I suggest if you live anywhere near any of these three cities, do consider entering these in-store raffles anyways and maybe figuring out how to get there on the day of pickup. So like take a train, take a flight, whatever. I would personally enter the in-store raffles even if it was in a country next to mine. The one thing to remember with Soulbox is make sure you are following them on Instagram. I know for a fact that they do check this. 
And if you are gonna enter multiple people into this soul box raffle, make sure that those people are also following them on Instagram. All right, let's move on to the Jordan Bastille raffle. Now this is a store out in Paris and unfortunately this raffle is only open to French residents and you need to enter the raffle using the Foot Patrol France app. So there's not much more to say. If you win the raffle, you have to pick it up from the Jordan Bastille store in Paris. Next on the list is sneakers and stuff. As you guys know, sneakers and stuff has locations actually all over the world, even outside of Europe. But for this specific release, all of the pairs are going to be released in the EU only. So that's definitely good news for us out here in Europe. Now you have to enter this raffle only using the sneakers and stuff app. So I personally have like four different devices that have the sneakers and stuff app installed in them. And all four of these accounts have different names and different payment methods. So that's what I suggest doing. Also different addresses as well. Based on what I've heard, you might actually have a better chance of winning if you create a brand new account especially if your account on sneakers and stuff has already won raffles in the past you might have a better chance of winning by creating a brand new account don't quote me on this I'm just telling you this based on what some of my friends here have recently done and they managed to get W's so it might just be worth a try next on the list is Shinzo Shinzo is a store out in France this raffle is also open to all of the EU it's important for this raffle to follow all of these three accounts that Shinzo has on their website also on Shinzo, make sure that you create an account on their website and only enter the raffle if you have that email address already registered on their website. By the way, very quickly, if you found this video useful so far, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I will be dropping a lot more content like this if I get enough likes on the video. So make sure you guys drop a like as well. That will tell me you guys found this useful. Next, let's talk about Okium. Okium is based out of the Netherlands. This is also open to all of the EU. And as with all raffles, make sure you guys read the rules. The rules on this raffle is that you need to have an account set up on Okium and the address on the account needs to match exactly the address that you enter in the raffle. So make sure you guys are doing that. Next, we have Foot District. Now, I suggest entering this raffle last. So after you've entered all other raffles, because to be honest, guys, this raffle is pretty much the most botted raffle out there. So unless they have amazing bot protection, which I don't think they do, I wouldn't personally invest too much time creating raffle entries into this Foot District online raffle. Based on what they've written online, they seem to also have an in-store raffle that they will talk about on their Instagram, which they haven't done so yet. So make sure you're following them on Instagram, especially you guys out there in Spain, where Foot District is located. The next one let's talk about is Beeston. Beeston is also doing an online raffle open to the EU. The rules are simple. Make sure you are following them on Instagram. And once again, people always forget this rule. Make sure that the account that you've created on Beeston, make sure the address on there is matching the address that you are entering into the raffle using that same email address. Next, let's talk about the end raffle. Now this raffle, in my opinion, is a myth because I have never won an end raffle. I've never even met someone who's won an end raffle. The reason for this is because end, they usually keep their raffles open for like two weeks and anyone from the world can enter them. So your chances of winning them are super, super slim. Also end for some reason charges a much higher price for all of the shoes than any other store does. But still considering how high the resale price is gonna be this time, it's worth paying even this extra amount of money. So I do suggest entering the end raffles. If you have multiple accounts, make sure you're using different names, different addresses, and different payment methods. Next, we have the Off-White website. So this one, it's rumored to release tomorrow, and tomorrow is gonna be July the 22nd. It's rumored to release around 12 p.m. or 1 p.m. Central European time, so that's basically the time zone where I live right now, that's Berlin. However, it's gonna be basically a shock drop, and of course, unless you have bots, you have a very slim chance of getting it, but you might get lucky. I have actually gotten lucky in the past with the Off-White website trying to cop manual. However, it's tough. Unless they've improved their bot protection, this one is gonna be tough if you're trying to cop manual. And last but not the least, let's talk about the Nike sneakers app. It's gonna be releasing on the 25th, I believe at 9 a.m. That's this coming Saturday. 
In Europe, it's going to be a draw release, which kind of sucks because your chances of copying usually are much lower on the draw than if it was one of those uh, Leo releases. Now, every single YouTube channel I watch regarding this topic says something different about it. So I don't know what's right. I don't know what's wrong. I'm just going to tell you what I do when it comes to Nike sneakers app. So once again, I have four different devices plus my computer. So I have five different accounts that I enter into this. For three of them, I'll be using basically my home's Wi-Fi. And then for my two other phones, I'm using basically 4G connections. I would not use more than three devices on the same Wi-Fi connection because Nike is probably just going to block you at that point. Some people say that PayPal is better. Some people say cards are better. What I've noticed is that it literally makes no difference. I've won an equal amount using both. But I do suggest do not use the same payment method more than three separate times. If you actually have a lot of payment methods, I would suggest using different payment methods on each account. And of course, drop some comments too, man. My EU fam, I would love to hear from you. Tell me if you guys find this kind of content useful and if you want me to drop more of it. As you guys know, I really want these for personal. So if one of you guys get lucky and win a men's size 11, hit me up on Instagram and offer me a good price, of course. And last thing is if you guys actually win the raffle because of some of the tips I've given in this video, feel Make sure you hit me up on Instagram and tell me you did so because that would just be amazing. I just want to give you guys some good value. So yeah, man, good luck to all of you guys. Bon chance, buena suerte, feel gluk. I hope you guys managed to cop. And until next time, guys, peace.